All right, let's talk about Jerry Brown. I mean, most of this poll that we're looking at from uh, the L.A. Times and good old USC Dornsife is about uh, Jerry Brown. Uh, they talked to 1,503 registered voters and 1,350 likely voters. And um, pretty much the very first question, once you get past the uh, the setups, uh, is just about uh, the elections next year. And how you th- always, how do you think things are going in California? Are we on the right track? Or are we seriously off track? And uh, most people still think we're on the wrong track, 49%. <laughs> Only 37% picked right direction. I mean, there's all this talk about it's a slow economic recovery, but there are some signs that California is starting to improve. Uh, the voters didn't think <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, for who? Then they get right to it. Do you approve or disapprove of the job being done by Jerry Brown as governor? And as you know, and as you will find out, because John found this the funniest question in the poll coming up, they like to provide a number of choices, not simply I approve or disapprove. Right. No. It's got to be strongly approve, somewhat approve, somewhat disapprove, strongly disapprove, don't know, or simply refused. And on the subject of approve, strongly approve and somewhat approve got 55%. So that's why they're touting this as good news for Jerry Brown and that. Dude, now, but you, somewhat approve is sort of like now. I wonder what you. That's would, the biggest answer. Thirty three percent took somewhat now, approve. Most people aren't paying attention to anything that's going on. If if these people knew that he let tens of thousands of prisoners out and the crime rate is going up, what kind of an approval rating do you think he gets? If if you if put into the focused question on Prop Thirty and all their taxes going up, yeah. If 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 you also threw in how he's still obsessed with spending uh, $100 billion on high-speed rail that's really slow-speed rail, what's his approval rating? The only reason any politician's approval rating is as high as it is is because most people aren't paying attention and they don't care. If you actually scrutinize what most of these jokers are doing, they all should be run out of office, dragged out of the state, put in a, put in a bag. And as the Times likes to do, they occasionally pick out one of the people that they interviewed in this poll for a couple of questions and I like this one, Paula Fosho, Fosho, a Fosho, a registered nurse who left Louisiana after Katrina and is now a single mother of twins living in Burbank. She doesn't know much about what Jerry Brown has accomplished in the past three years. She's likely to vote for someone else. And you know what her quote is? I pay high taxes. I know that. And especially she registered without a party preference, by the way. But even though she has a stable job, she has a tough time getting yeah. by. And she came from Louisiana, which is probably a much right. lower tax state. Right. If you put into that question, you approve of Jerry Brown, we have the highest tax rate in the nation, and he jacked up income taxes and sales taxes even further. How do you feel about him? But they don't talk about what he's really done to people here. Not that He hasn't done anything for people. He's done stuff to people. I so, think she's well, also... So what's the point of the question if you don't explain... All the money that that he's that first of all, all the money that he's getting through taxation that he got by lying when he went on that campaign, lying about Prop 30 and where the money was going to go. This lady is 48, and she said, "I'm not saving for retirement or college. I can't save money for the important things that I feel I have to save money for. It's a struggle just to do the basics." Mm. Also, she reminded me because she, and she's a rarity that they found her. She moved here from another state. Numbers that are vastly dropping every year for California. And yeah, this people is like not her, a destination. It's not. And then people like her find out when they get here that, oh, my God, things cost a lot here. The taxes are high here. Why oh, did I do this? I bet you the taxes are way higher than Louisiana. Oh, here they must You be. know what? Everything and, from even, and, even, even real estate taxes. And, and you don't get anything for it. The school systems are just as bad as they are in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, well, that's sad. Yeah, the welfare cases and the poverty are just are, are just as bad or worse than Louisiana. So it's not like you come here and yeah, you're paying a high price, but look at all the great services you got. No, you're feeding the poverty welfare machine, right. as even Jerry Brown admitted last week. We're we're a magnet. We're a magnet for poor people now. Why are we a magnet for poor people? Because we have we have an extreme amount of benefits that we offer. So. The people, you know, middle class people like her aren't attracted here. She she came here because a hurricane blew her out. I mean, almost literally a hurricane yeah, blew her and across the country. She's one of those people. And there's still a few left that said, all right, I can't live in Louisiana anymore. It's a mess. 
well, you know, I always hear about the California dream. Maybe I'll go. Right. There's less and less of her every year because the reality is here. That dream is dead. It's tough it's, bringing it back. It's dead. And Jerry Brown is the last, uh, you know, vapid politician who's still cheerleading about the California dream. But everybody who actually is living in California knows it's over. It's done. You know, we're on we're on a quick slide into persistent poverty that's not going to go away because of government policies, specifically because of government policies. All right. Now we'll uh, get to the poll question that is just absolutely hysterical. When we come back, people were asked more in depth what they think about Jerry Brown. And they were given like eight or nine choices. And it's really funny. Oh, this is the worst question and the funniest question ever. Johnny Ketchup, John Cobell, and Ken Champo.